Hello, so the question we have today for Ask Allison is, I have a really small office. What are the must haves for an office that don't take up a ton of space? Um, do I really need a desk? Um, first, I'd like to thank Therapy Notes for sponsoring us. I think must haves, like if we're talking about like getting down to brass tacks, must haves. I talk about this a little bit on the getting started checklist. If you guys don't have it, you can get it at abundancepracticebuilding.com slash checklist, I'll link to it. Um, it's free. Um, so you don't need a lot, honestly, like all you really need are like a couple of chairs and a clock. Um, now, is that going to feel like the most homey environment? No, but let me see. Can you guys see Move my head the right way? You see this painting? It's, <laughs> it's backwards. There you go. This painting right here is gigantic. Um, we're far away from it. So it looks smaller. It used to be over a mantle in my old office. I had a client come in who'd been seeing me weekly for months and was like, oh, did you just get that painting? And it had, it had been there. Um, so I think that our clients often don't notice the details of our offices. There's a general vibe or feel that they might get, but they're, they're there to talk about their issues. There are some, some outliers that might make them really notice, like if it feels really echoey in there, which two chairs on the clock might, might do. Um, if it feels echoey or cold, then that's one thing. But honestly, all you truly need if you're strapped for cash or if you have a very, very small office are two comfortable chairs. Um, I would say if they're upholstered, I wouldn't buy them used just in case. Um, two comfortable chairs and um, maybe something on the wall. Um, you do not need a desk, absolutely not. If it doesn't fit comfortably, I actually had, in an agency I worked for, I was in one of those offices. It was probably at one point a closet. And it was very small, there was no window. And the desk, I swear the desk took up half the room. And I wished that I didn't have to have it in there because it made the counseling space so squished that it didn't feel as comfortable as I wanted it to for my clients. Um, so yeah, you can just pop your laptop on your lap and do your notes that way. Um, do your blogging there, or if you do blogging, or you can do it at a coffee shop, there are no rules. Um, so yeah, keep it simple. Um, Make it as cozy as you can, but um, it does, you don't have to have a bunch of stuff in the room. If you have a question for Ask Allison, you can email me at ask at abundancepracticebuilding.com. We have some resources linked for you, and I'll see you later.